Hello guys, today let's create a cave entrance effect in Niagara. Okay, first let's create a material of this beam. We have made similar materials many times, so let's fast forward here. We copy the noise texture three times, then give them different tiling and speeds. In this way, we can get a richer effect. Then we make a mask for the texture. Okay, this is beam material. Now let's create a Niagara. In Niagara, we need a mesh render, and the static mesh is plain. We need an engine basic shapes here. Override materials is beam. Add a spawn burst. We can see the effect. Here we need to set it size 0 0.35 and 1. Also color. Okay, we have a rough effect. Now delete spawn burst. We need a spawn rate 100. Then let's set its orientation. Make it look like a cone. We first need a random rotation of itself on the Y axis. So make vector and Y is random range 0 to 1. And then we need to set its Z axis range, its sprite. Also we need a random range. Uh, 0 to 1 is too big, we need a small range. 0 0.15 to 0 0.25. Okay. Oh, yes, we also need to set its pivot point. The default pivot point in the center. We need to move it to the side. We just add a 50 on the Y axis. OK. Now we can see it's a right orientation. Then we copy another orientation. This time we need to change the value on the X axis. A random range 0 to 1. Yes, we get a coin. If we want to control the angle of the coin, we can change the second orientation. 0 0.25 means the angle of the coin is 0. Yeah, we can see the angle is 0. So we just need to change the mean value, maybe 0 0.2. OK, let's see it in the level. Oh, we can see its direction is incorrect. We can add another orientation. Let it rotate 90 degrees. Uh, negative 0 0.25. Or we can use local space. In this way, we can also control its orientation. OK, now let's change its spawn rate to be smaller. Then give it a random size. 0 0.1. And here is 0 0.3. 5. OK. 
We also need a scale mesh size in particle update, curve 0 to 1 to 0. Then we need an update mesh orientation on the Y axis for itself. Rotation rate may be smaller, 0.1. OK. Now let's create a smoke material. Just like we did the dissolved effect. We need a smoke texture and use text card add noise texture. So here we also fast forward. All textures are provided by the engine. Yes, there is already a smoke effect. Now let's add a mask for it. Okay, our smoke material is finished. Now let's create a new emitter and our material also we use spawn rate 100 then we need a random left time 3 to 5 color is same a green alpha may be 0 0.1 okay and split size also random range 50 to 100 also random split rotation in particle update we need the dynamic material parameters offset and time is random range 0 to 1 power we need a curve 0 is 2 and one is five this will look more like smoke then add a shape location in particle spawn and the scale color in particle update also we need a scale spread size zero to one uh, color alpha Let's change back to 1. OK, it looks better. Then we add a velocity. This velocity should be in the negative direction of the x axis. Negative 200. Yes. Then we need a curl noise force. 100 and not failed. Okay. Also drag. Now let's take a look. Hmm, the effect is okay. Then let's add a spread rotation rate. 100 will make it more obvious. 10 is enough. Now let's copy this emitter, add some spark effect, default spread, and spread size just 1 to 2. Spawn rate is 20. Then we can change scale alpha to create a flash effect, add a sign to just change bells to 1. We can also add a random period to change their frequency. 0 0.1 to 1. 
Okay, their frequencies are not the same. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.